This week, Gina and I are showing off our backyard as we join members of the Richfield City Council on another one of the 50 trails in 50 weeks for a ride to relax with the devil. Then, the AYL crew is meeting up with some folks from Hanksville as they get out on the dirt bikes and show off some great riding in Swing Arm City. And finally, what's the difference between white water and big water? Well, we'll show you as we take a look at a jet boat ride on the Columbia River. It's all coasting your way now at your leisure is next. Oh, that view, that is what makes the Paiute Trail system famous. That's why people come from all over the world to ride these trails, especially the one we're on today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Kevin Mortensen. And I'm Gina Mortensen. And who do you have with us today, Gina? I brought some friends. I'm Sam, and this is my daughter, Alyssa. So they're friends of ours from Richfield. We, we've come out today with Richfield City and some of the, the members of the Richfield City Council who are showing us around town and how to access the trail system from town. Gina. Richfield is the perfect place to come if you want to bring a family. Why is it? We live here. It's beautiful. It has everything you need. Grocery stores, gas stations, hotels, and beautiful trails that you're going to love no matter any time of year. You know what they said to us? They said, Kevin, we want to market this trail system as a family-friendly destination where you can come and enjoy some great scenery and have everything you need for families. But you know who the experts are? Not you. The guys we're riding with. <laughs> let's go talk to them. Let's go let's talk. Get on the trail. That's right. Let's go. Sevier County is known as trail country, and Richfield City is known as the heart of trail country. You can access the Paiute Trail from any direction from Richfield City. Today we're on a, a ride that we call the Devil's Armchair. It goes right out of Richfield, right from the trailhead at 300 North and College Avenue. We come right up the road and go to the Devil's Armchair and back. Uh, it is not a loop, but it is a beautiful ride. It's a beginner ride, but it, don't let that stop you. If you're looking for more of a challenge, there, it is beautiful. And there's some great stuff you wanna see. And so it's, it's an enjoyable ride for anybody. The Devil's Armchair ride you can do in maybe half a day. If you just have a few hours and you're in town, you can, you can go up and, and see the scenery and get back and get on your way. What we would like to see as a Richfield City is family-friendly, safe, responsible riding. This is a family trail system. This is a trail that anyone could ride. It's, it's one that you ought to take at a leisurely pace. Uh, enjoy it. You might be amazed what you see. We're blessed to have an abundance of well-maintained well-managed uh, public lands here in this area. That's, that's why we have this trail system. It, it, it's just a fun, easy trail to, to uh, bring the family, bring a picnic right here at top. We've got these nice picnic tables that have been provided. Uh, if you come to Richfield to ride the trails, put this one right on the top of your list. This would be a great trail to ride. You, you notice all these cows as we come up. Uh, they have a right to be here. Uh, you know, don't harass the livestock. Don't, don't harass the, the wildlife. Stop and pause and watch them, enjoy them if you'd like. But we have such a wonderful opportunity here. We don't want to mess that up through the misbehavior of a few. All right, Todd, thanks for all that great information, but we're out here on the trail today. Where are we? We are right at the intersection at the top of the mountain. And if we go back this direction, we could go to Fillmore or even Aurora. And if we keep going this direction, it's gonna take us to our destination at the Devil's Armchair. So a second ago in the interview, you referenced that this is a great family friendly trail. And we're seeing that as we ride. This is a good place to bring your kids. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, like I said, it's, it's a, a beginner trail, but yet there's so much beauty that anyone would want to come and ride this trail. Man, and it's hard to keep your eyes on the trail. Do that for safety reasons, but there's so much scenery. Oh. This is so beautiful. So listen, we're going to make our way on down to the Devil's Armchair. We're going to send you guys off to check out this week's Where To. A 
this is Swing Arm City. Out here uh, riding around, showing people around and doing what we do. Just doing some rides and hill climbs and trail rides and uh, Razorbacks, wash rides. Razorbacks where the, the hill comes up to a point and you'll ride along the top ridge. You can basically do whatever you want, kind of be yourself. If you want to hit big jumps, there's plenty out here. Hit small ones, whatever you want to do, but basically a lot of free riding. It's really nice, you know, having it so close to town. From Hanksville on Highway 24 coming west, and then it's just right here, maybe 15 miles outside of town. It's just right off the side of the road, so it's pretty pretty easy to get to, I think. Not can't really miss it. You gotta always be on your toes, you know, expect anything basically. So it makes you, you know, if you're not experienced, it can make you experienced. It kind of teaches you a lot, which is good. It can accommodate any type of rider. Uh, we have professionals coming out here doing things that I would never even dream about, putting a motorcycle or four-wheeler on. But yet you can bring out your kids and keep a close eye on them and they can practice and become better. Today was my first day doing a wash ride, so that was uh, probably top of my list now. Some people call it Mars. Um, it's pretty unique that way as far as what it looks like. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like riding on the moon. A lot of people have uh, explained it like that. The dirt's perfect to ride in. Just a lot of flat, dry clay, unless it gets wet, and then it's just a mud hole. <laughs> These hills that are out here, you can go to the top or you can go halfway. You, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, points of return, I guess you could say. It's good to be aware of what the other side of the hill is out here. Um, it can sneak up on you. You have a nice gradual slope on one side and a sheer cliff on the other. It'll send you flying. It's straight down on the other side. <laughs> there are parts where you can climb up and over and just off the steep, steep side, but a lot of the times a lot of people just like to go up and kind of fishtail at the top. Yeah, if, you, if you're not sure what's on the other side, you might, you might really hurt yourself. It's unique and you don't see a lot of that. And basically, like I said, you know, you can do whatever you want out there. You can be yourself. So there's a rock right on the edge of the wash and uh, had a big face on it. We just right up the face, jump across the wash about uh, 15, 20 feet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we love it. It's beautiful out here. Greatest place to come. The views are great. You can see the Henrys from right here. Um, got a clear view of Factory Butte. They're just beautiful. You got, it's just kind of different any, any which way you look. And it's nice. The, the terrain that's up close and personal is unique, but then you've got quite a backdrop on every direction you look. With the North and South Mesas, the Henry Mountains, and Factory Butte, is everywhere you turn. This place, you get service on your cell phone once in a while. For safety reasons, I think that's pretty good, but you can really just forget about what you left behind as far as your work and worries. Come out here and disconnect and just have a ball with your family. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are in our wonderful cooking segments with Yardley Premium Beef, the best beef ever. And we're with Smoke Ain't No Joke Barbecue Anthony Lujan. This dude rocks, and you know how to smoke. A little bit. I'm, I've been around the grills a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. So what are we doing today? Today we are going to be cooking up a Yardley Premium Beef beef chuck roast, and we're going to actually make poor man burn ends. Some people don't want to cook a whole brisket to get the, that part, yeah. so we can actually save some money, get a chuck roast, cut them down, cube them up, throw them on the grill, and get the same results. Oh my gosh. So who would think burnt ends smell so good? Yeah. Let's get started. All righty, so we're just going to open this up here. Okay. So this uh, chuck roast actually has the bone in, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the bone out. 
this is just the bow. For, um, I guess if you get bone in, boil that down, give it to the dogs, you're good to go. Oh, perfect. Or, I would eat all or beef, or yeah, or you can just make it for a stock. So yeah. what we're gonna do is cube them up here. What I do like about Yardley Premium Beef here is that they they know how to prep their their product. It's there's not a lot to trim off them. They're good to go. And I'm actually gonna have you be my assistant today because I don't Please. like to touch the bottles uh -huh. with the raw meat on my hands. Yep. So what do we got going for the spices? This one right here is, uh, this is Big Papa Smokers Cash Cow. It's a competition style rub. Um, okay. And yep, so go ahead and give that a sprinkle all over it. Just kind of la la Yeah, because we're going to use multiple flavors. And then go ahead and grab that Heath Riles uh, holo yeah, garlic jalapeno rub. Oh yeah. yeah, Chad would be all over this stuff. Yeah, he really loves good. it. And then we're going to come in with the Board and Night Out White Lightning. This is a salt, pepper, garlic with a little bit of uh, dehydrated butter in it. So now we got those in there. We're going to get them tossed up here just a little bit. Yep, so there they are. We got them all seasoned. And we're going to put them on the smoker. So if you'd like to lift that up for me. Okay. So we got a beautiful Traeger here, huh? Yep. And we're going to put them right on the Traeger. Got the smoker set at 250 degrees. And what we're looking for is a target temperature about 200 degrees is what we're going for. So they can, the meat will break down and get super soft. Let's go do something and we'll come back and check let's on this go later. Let's ATV ride and come back. I'm down. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, Rhea, this has been in here for quite a bit. Um, right. We're about four and a half, five hours in currently. Beautiful. So we're gonna pull it out. Try not, try not to burn our fingers too bad. Right. During the transfer here. So here they are. Yum. They got a nice smoke flavor on them. Look at the juice in there. Yep. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of this Blues Hog Tennessee Red. It has a little bit of vinegar kick to it and some heat behind it. So okay. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit in here. Oh, beautiful. And that's kind of your tanginess. Yep. And then we're gonna mellow it out with a little bit of the sweet. Nice. Sweet, sweet and tangy. Yep, exactly. And we're gonna put it back on the grill, let the sauce set up just a little bit. Okay, so you don't have to cover it. You just throw it back just in throw there. Throw it in there just for about five minutes or so, just enough for that brown sugar that's in the in the sweet sauce to kind of create a tackiness to it. Nice. Alrighty, cool. These have been in here about five minutes or so. Should be a little tacky. Yeah, and then we're gonna just drizzle with some sauce. This is for TV oh, to make it look pretty. It's worth every minute of it. I feel, will you, here, take a piece. We'll toast it. We'll toast it. <laughs> we'll cheers. Yeah. Here's to you. Thank you. Mm, and Yardley beef. Oh. Butter, you guys. Oh, so delicious. Mm. So how do these guys get your recipe? Um, they can follow me at Smoke Ain't No Joke Barbecue on any social media or the Pitmasters podcast. Okay. Feel free to shoot me a question. Uh-huh. And yeah, hopefully you'll get in a product like this and I want to see those photos. And if you want to order this beef, this Yardley Premium Beef, go to our website, ayltv.com forward slash beef, and you can order this beef and then just get this recipe from Anthony and you will be golden. All right, don't go away. There's more at your leisure coming up. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're finally in town, Richfield, right? That's right. You know, when you're when you're coming to an area and you're new to the area, you want to know the local secrets and you want to actually use the area right and visitor centers are a way to find that information out. So what do you say? I say we find out what the experts have to say about Richfield and where to eat here. This looks really cool. Let's go check it out. Richfield, like a lot of other small communities, we're 8,500 people here that live here now. Uh, it is just a uniquely a beautiful place. Our city is a clean, well-maintained, well-run city. I had this dream and we knew that we needed a visitor center. Uh, we knew that it would be great for our businesses to direct people to their business. Uh, we knew that it would be great for travelers so they don't get lost. And we knew it would be wonderful for ATV folks. We have a plethora of maps and brochures and everything that will help you find your way and find whatever you need. And so it's very important to come here because a lot of that is not online. We have some real salt that we sell, different varieties of it. We have some beautifully carved wood. The etchings on them are amazing. We also have some Native American jewelry. It is fully staffed and there's always someone there to answer your questions. Right up the road from the visitor center, we have great hotels, 
uh, Frontier Village uh, restaurant right up there. When you come into Richfield City, you'll find that there are all kinds of amenities uh, as far as hotel rooms. We have grocery stores. We have many fine restaurants. We have uh, fuel, anything you need on the trail. Okay, so that visitor center is fantastic. And if you're coming to town, make that your first stop. So Richfield City is a unique town. It's, there's nothing like it. In, in, it's right in the middle of the state. You can get to it fast from anywhere. It's got all of the services that you need. And if you want to come and ride the trails, this is a great place to base camp. We've decided that during our adventure today, we needed to grab some lunch. So we came over to Frontier Village, one of our favorite restaurants. But that's not to say that there aren't a lot of great restaurants in this town. And, and we love them all, but we could only really choose one today. Having some steaks. I mean, we can choose more than one. Gina likes dessert at a lot of different restaurants, but... And maybe maybe later, know. but I want to drive today. So we need to get out and go. You drive? we still got some riding to do today, but... But don't you think I should be able to drive? Because you didn't just say no, but you didn't say yes. Well, it's pretty technical. I, I think it's I'm going to take it. It's not technical. Anyone could do this ride. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm driving. Okay, listen. We're going to enjoy our food, send you off to this week's along the way, and we'll find out who's really going to end up driving to Double Center. <laughs> Itching to cool off this summer? Portland, Oregon is a destination with fun for everyone. And today we're on the Columbia River getting ready to make a splash with Willamette Jet Boat Excursions. A long running and locally favorite guided tour with high speeds, plenty of sightseeing, and tons of history, it's really an hour and a half of excitement you won't want to miss. It's time to get out on the water and get wet. around for uh, just over 20 years now and it's uh, right here in the heart of Portland leaves from Omsi it's kind of our neighbor right up back behind me there and they've been running up and down the river to the Willamette Falls and out to the Columbia for that entire time and it's just it's an absolute blast so the boats go 50 miles an hour and they've got a flat bottom to them and jet boats sit up nice and high and with those combinations you get to spin the boat around into a circle and freak people out it's awesome so they do um, they do dip the bow and splash everybody if you want to as well, and during the spins people get wet, and yeah, it's a, it's a good fun time, for sure. All right, you guys have a good time out there? Abundant amounts of history are available to anyone who's interested, and it's easy to miss without having an experienced tour guide to point out all the amazing details gives a little bit more of a understanding of your surroundings if you're living in Portland you can kind of be more familiar with what's around you and what this river kind of provides as far as shipping and industry as well but uh, yeah it's, it's also just a fun ride for sure It's a great experience to cool off in the summer heat. From the smells of the river and the sounds of boats passing by, people of any age can have an exceptional time. Whether you are a homegrown Portland local or visiting from anywhere in the country, Willamette Jet Boat Tours are a can't miss. And you'll be walking away not only soaked, but with memories that will last a lifetime. It was really fun. It was super wet. There was a lot of big old waves and turns, but it was also interesting to see all like the history kind of behind it. But it was super fun and wet and fast. You go really fast, and then a tidal wave comes and gets you soaked as I am right now. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's super fun and a good experience. <laughs> I, lo I love. I feel like I got wet, but not too wet that is like uncomfortable. I got soaked. Yeah, she sat. She sat on the side which is like the splash zone. This week's Along the Way in Portland, Oregon. I'm Stephen Human. I finally have my chance to 
to drive. I'm not exactly sure Chad's going to let me do it again because there might be some work on this transmission. Right. Right. But we're here on the Paiute Trail and we're going to Devil's Arm Show. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? I'm anyway. comfortable. Aren't comfortable. you comfortable? It's been a long ride. <laughs> Listen, we got to get this over with soon. So you guys go check out next week's show. <laughs> Whatever. See you later. <laughs> Next week, Chad and Rhea are joining folks from Uinta County and Beers Harley Davidson for another amazing ride, and this time they're off to the Red Mountain Trail. Then, Reese and Marianne are back, and this time they're showing off a great area filled with hiking and biking trails in Big Cottonwood Canyon. And finally, everything comes at a cost, and next week, we'll see what someone has to give up to spend more of their time, correction, all of their time out on the water. Now, let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was spotted on the trail recently in this license plate number B58TH. And it looks like they're the lucky winner of a $400 gift certificate to Rifab. Rifab offers the best custom metal fabrication for your rig. Visit Rifab.com for more details. And be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Next week's show looks great. You know, and this week's show was great. Do you guys have a good time out here today? Yes. yes! Thanks for bringing us out and showing us the great things that you can access from Richfield City. Right behind us is the iconic Devil's Armchair. And if you haven't been here, and if you've got a machine, you got to put this on your bucket list. So load it up, head to Richfield, go to the Visitor Center, get a map, check out www.outsiders.zone and it'll sh it's uploaded, it'll show you exactly how to get here. But unfortunately, we're out of time. So half hour is just never enough to see everything. Thanks for watching, we'll see you back next week. And remember, there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, at your, your leisure. leisure.